Hi, I'm Professor Don Mueller, or perhaps better known as Dr. Bones. Today I'm going to talk about the hydrogenation of ethene. The question was, what is the balanced reaction for ethene with hydrogen, or the hydrogenation reaction? Well, it's actually balanced already. We've got an ethene molecule plus hydrogen forming ethane. So if we go to this demonstration, let's take a look. We've got an ethene molecule. It's got a double bond between the two carbons has four hydrogens, and we've got a hydrogen molecule, two H atoms. Well, how does this reaction take place? Well, you need a metal surface. In this case, we've got platinum or nickel, where the two, in this case, two molecules can adsorb to the surface. So the H2 molecule and the alkene adsorb, stick to the metal surface, this is called chemisorption, all right? So chemisorption. In the reaction chamber, which is heated to maybe 200 degrees Celsius, this hydrogen, hydrogen molecule, which adsorbs to the surface, can dissociate. You can think of the hydrogen molecule as a couple of tennis balls stretching with the bond in between, it's like two tennis balls held together with rubber bands. On the surface, this molecule can dissociate, so you can form two hydrogen atoms. The hydrogen atom can then react with the alkene molecule to form an alkane, meaning this hydrogen can react with one side of the molecule, another hydrogen with the other side of the molecule to form the ethane molecule. All right, so we see here in the end the reaction site, the hydrogen molecule can dissociate, leaving it avail available for bonding with the substrate to form the ethane molecule. And the ethane molecule, which has two carbons in a single bond with three hydrogens on each carbon, can rotate about this axis. Now, if you wanted to examine this with larger hydrocarbons, you could have double bonds in, for example, fatty acid molecules. You could have a double bond that can add a hydrogen molecule and saturate that portion of the molecule. You might have heard of monounsaturated fats, polyunsaturated fats. That's all it means. That double bond has now become a single bond because hydrogen was added to the bond. All right, so an interesting reaction. For more of Dr. Bones, check out my website at drboneshow.com or brainbuildingshows.com. Take care.